Hey guys, it's Dan here. Um, I just got over COVID, so that's why I've not been making videos. But this video today is very important. I was going to put it out yesterday. It was Martin Luther King Jr.'s birthday. Um, once again, to all the African Americans, I'm sorry for being white. I do apologize. Um, but I just wanted to share with you guys something that I'm Nabisco, the cookie company. I'm not going to boycott you anymore. Um, me and Justin, these are Oreos. Okay, me and Justin, about two years ago, my partner of five years, my lover, my friend, shut up Trump supporters, love is love. Um, so basically two years ago, we decided to take a stand against racism. Because um, if you think about Oreos, you have two beautiful, you know, these chocolate, beautiful cookies, and then some racist wants to smear vanilla white cream in the middle. Okay, talk about colonizing. But guess what? Justin yesterday found these at the store. Dark chocolate Oreos. So now you can, listen, white people, progressives, listen to me. You can now eat Oreos without being racist. Look at that. It's just all chocolate. Look at that. Honestly, God, if, if she, he existed, I'm an atheist and a progressive. If she existed, this is the kind of cookie she would want you to eat. Okay, chocolate cookies, chocolate cream. Mmm, Justin. These things make me randy. They do. Um, hmm. Justin. No, I've not been talking to Randy. Randy means frisky. It's what they said like back in the 1700s when everyone was racist. Hmm. No, don't, don't you start. I have not been. I wasn't the one talking to Drew last night on Facebook Messenger. Oh, now you're going to be silent. Yes, Justin, my partner, was talking to his ex, Drew. Drew was a Trump supporter. Okay, he's horrible. He's not allowed to come over to our house. He does have good abs, though. But... That's not what this video is about, okay? So stop, Trump supporters. I just wanted to let my fellow progressives know. And I know Trump supporters, Republicans, evangelicals, they're going to be very disappointed. They're going to be like, the favorite thing about Oreos was the white cream in the middle. No, the favorite thing about Oreos for you, Trump supporters, was eating them with your cousin, okay? Mm. That's how you do it right there. Mm. No, Justin, I'm not flirting. I'm not flirting. I'm just educating the progressives. So, for I know there's a lot of progressives like me that had boycotted the Nabisco, stopped eating Oreos, but now, because they took out the nasty racist white cream and put in chocolate cream, now we can enjoy Oreos again without having white guilt. And I have a buttload of white guilt. Tell me about it, Justin. Me and Justin got pulled over by the police yesterday. Um, and we got a warning. We got a warning, but that wouldn't have happened if we have had our African American friend with us. We'd have all been taken out at gunpoint. Well, not us, <laughs> but our friend. Okay, so you know, I have a lot of white guilt. So anyway, resist. 